Welcome back guys. All right, so in this video, I am tired of the Lyometer telling me that I am getting better miles per gallon than what I actually am getting. This was the same problem that I had actually in the Ram 2500. Uh, that one was probably a little worse. Uh, but the thing is, is that I'm about a mile per gallon off and it only gets worse the uh, better miles per gallon that you're actually getting. Say if you're driving nothing but highway, uh, it's just off more. So what I'm actually gonna do is show you the numbers that I actually got uh, and then go into the truck and actually program it so that it could actually be honest with me every tank of fuel. All right guys, so I went ahead and used the Fuely app. I got four Phillips right here. So I actually took the real world, divided it by uh, what the computer was telling me and I got um, this number. You just move the decibel three places to the right, and you get uh, a whole number, so 920. This one is 913. I took the uh, average of four and I got 918. So this is actually what I'm gonna go ahead and change uh, once I turn on the truck. As you can see, this was at least uh, one mile per gallon off. This one was like 1.2, three, I guess. Uh, so it's off. So let's go ahead and make the change in the truck. All right guys So go ahead and hop in your truck. I have my window down because it, it is extremely hot out here All right, so what you're gonna do is make sure that your screen is entirely off wait a five ten seconds Make sure that's completely off go ahead and make sure your stereo your uh, head unit screen is uh, Completely off so you, you may want to give it five ten seconds All right, so simple process what you're gonna do is go ahead and hold down the ok button for about five seconds uh, and then you're gonna go ahead, put your foot on the brake and turn on your truck. Uh, I have the push to start, so it's essentially gonna be hold button for, uh, hold okay button for five seconds, put on brake, press the button, and it should start. Make sure you're holding down the okay button for an additional uh, three to five seconds until the engineering test mode actually pops up on your screen. If you have the key, you should be able to hold down the okay button again for five seconds then go ahead and uh, turn on your truck all the way and uh, make sure you have that finger on the OK button so I'm gonna try and do this with one hand and then uh, my second hand turning on the truck so let me see if I can get some pinky action on right here hold that down two three four five foot on the brake start the truck the brake, finger still on the OK button. Boom. As you can see right there, let me dim this light. Engineering test mode. Come on, focus. That is all you need. Boom. We are ready to play. It's telling me use up, down to scroll screens. So I'm actually going to scroll up until it says use left, right to adjust the bias factor. Use OK to save. So this is actually what I needed to adjust. Um, now I could actually go through a bunch of crazy things, but what I'm actually gonna do is just go to AFE bias, and that's when I'm gonna have to adjust, uh, use left and right to adjust the bias factor. So knowing that I took the average of uh, four Phillips, I have to bring this down to 918. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. 918, there we go. So, use OK to save, click. So that is good to go. Um, now let me see if this actually picks up. 918, yes, going back, 918. So, let me go ahead and turn on the vehicle. Get me out of uh, engineering test mode. So let me go ahead and uh, start this up. All right, so it was at 15.1, uh, now it is at 13.2, so that's cool. So guys, that is pretty much it. Uh, it's still hot as shit in North Carolina, but we got that switched and changed. Now the truck should be honest with me, telling me what is my miles per gallon. You know, the Rams, the 2500 that I came from, that also had a big, um, big line issue, so. I'm looking forward to actually tracking the correct miles per gallon and I'm just going to continue making sure that uh, what the computer is telling me is actually what I'm getting hand calculated. There was no YouTube video for an F-250 so if you have any questions, comments, go ahead and let me know down below. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, press the like button, press the bell button. Until next time, ciao.